Hello guys, today I want to give you some general advice on how to upgrade all their Laravel project to the newest version, like Laravel 10 for example in this case. And at first I wanted to show a video or a course to upgrade some very old project, but then I realized that it would be a really long one and it would also depend on the project, so it wouldn't be too practical because every project is individual. So instead of that, I decided to shoot this relatively quick video about how to think about upgrades so you would adapt my thoughts into your practical reality. So I guess there are three main ways to upgrade the project. If you are on the version that is minus one from the current one, the previous version, then it's easy. So if your project is on Laravel 9, you just probably go to laravelshift.com, purchase the shift, and upgrade easily and have a video demo around that. Or you can do it manually if you have more time, go to upgrade guide and release notes pages and make the changes from the instructions there. Next, second case, if you are on a bit older version like Laravel 8 or 7, then you have a choice. And the choice is basically the same, whether to use Laravel shift to automate that or do that manually. The thing is that you cannot jump through a few versions at once. I mean, you can, but there's no upgrade guide or any instruction how to upgrade from Laravel 7 to Laravel 10, for example. There's an instruction from 7 to 8, from 8 to 9, and from 9 to 10, respectively. So that is exactly what you should probably do. Not necessarily, but that's how I would do that. I would go to probably Laravel Shift and upgrade from 7 to 8, for example, then fix the bugs and fix anything manual that needs to be fixed then the same procedure for 8 to 9, and the same procedure from 9 to 10. It seems counterintuitive and it seems too much work, but that's probably the most reliable way to do that. And then we come to the third case, which you see on the screen, a very old project. If you have a project on Laravel 5 or 6, then it's much more tricky. So here I have my very old quick LMS, one of my first demo projects ever, which was created six years ago with Laravel 5.4. So at first I thought to shoot a video or a course to upgrade that one, but then I realized how much time it would actually take. And this is probably the first main takeaway from this video that I want to emphasize is upgrade the versions while it is easy and don't come to the point where it becomes really hard. So if you are one version behind, it's fine. Two versions, it's still manageable but three or more, then you're in trouble. So if you have time or if you don't have time, then talk to your managers that you should have time to upgrade while it is a breeze to upgrade. At least in case of the latest Laravel versions, the changes are pretty minor. Now, how would I approach upgrading a very old project like this one? First, of course, we need to look at Composer JSON. And the main tricky part of any upgrades, including minor upgrades, is not about Laravel. It's about dependencies. And those dependencies are very individual. That's why if I shoot a full upgrade video or a course, it would be irrelevant to you because your dependencies would be different from mine. But let's summarize in general. What can you do and how would you do that? You have two choices, basically. First, do the same thing and upgrade version by version. But then you have like five versions, six versions, and then it becomes quite a huge amount of work. Another alternative, like totally opposite alternative, which becomes logical, is to recreate the project. Because if you haven't upgraded for a while, there may be a possibility that it's time to recreate the project anyway with new thoughts, with new ideas, not only from technical side, but also from the business goals, from the goals of the project itself, for the users, for the customers. So maybe I would create a new Laravel new project with Laravel 10 and then try to copy and paste the features from the old project. With that, there's another danger. With this list, not every package will support the newest version. Or even worse, some of the packages could be already abandoned. And that is a harsh reality of open source. It's totally natural and it is fine. Now, what can we do about it? First, best case, if the package supports the latest version, then you just use the latest version, but the syntax could be changed. How you use the package could be different. So you need to recreate that parts of the code that use specific package, for example. Then if the package does not support the latest version, 
But if it supports like Laravel 9, for example, then you could contact the author and ask them to upgrade their package, raise GitHub issue, or even better, open a pull request yourself. So try to contribute to that package. If the author, for example, doesn't have a lot of free time to do that themselves, so try to contribute to the upgrade and then you're fine to upgrade your own project. And then if the author is unresponsive for whatever reason, another option is to fork the package, which would become not Unisharp Laravel File Manager, for example, but Laravel Daily Laravel File Manager. And then you use your own package instead of that original one. But also while recreating the project, this may be a chance to rethink the whole functions. For example, try to find the alternatives. Maybe better packages appeared on the market since that time. For example, instead of using Stripe directly, maybe try to use Laravel Spark. Or instead of doing intervention image, which is PHP package, maybe use Spotty Media Library. So try to rethink the whole functions. And that would be a part of your recreated new project, which may shine with new colors, with new features, with new user experience, with new packages. And yes, it's a lot of work. But if you are already committed to that work, if you have like the budget and the time, why not put extra like 20% effort and make that new version even better, not just upgrade the older one. And the final thought in this more philosophical video than practical is you need to cover that with automated tests. And how would I do that? For example, in this old project, I don't have any tests. So what I would do is go to routes and write feature tests for every route. So routes web, for example, I would write feature test, launch the home page, and that it returns to 100. That's the first test. Then create some course and then get course by slug. Does it return what it should return? And then route by route, I would create those tests, which at first would fail. So in this case, I would probably adopt TDD test driven development, which means you write test first, it fails, and then you recreate the page in the new Laravel 10 project so that test would succeed. So yeah, these are my thoughts, kind of philosophical thoughts of how I would probably approach upgrading older Laravel version projects. I hope it gives you some ideas how to use that in your cases. What would you add to my thoughts? Share in the comments below. Have you recently upgraded older versions, older projects to Laravel 10 or Laravel 9? What was your experience? What would you have done differently maybe? Any advice would be good for others. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.